Hello, and welcome to another Camtasia Quick Tip. I'm Rob Moore. Camtasia has some pretty cool animation presets, but for the most part, they're pretty basic. You can animate an object from one side of the screen to the other, and you can also change its size and color properties along the way. But the animation movements are basic. They can only be linear with a single animation and not curved, for example. So to be able to animate around a circle, you would have to combine two or more animations together, but Camtasia doesn't allow you to do that. Or do they? In this video, I'll show you how to make a perfect circular animation using only Camtasia. It's pretty cool. And be sure to watch it until the end as I take it a step further to really create some highly customized animations, like a ball rotating around a point that's also moving across the screen. But before I get into that, if you wanna see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm posting new videos every week and I host a live stream every Thursday. My next live stream is next Thursday, April 21st at 12 p.m. Eastern. And I'll be answering your questions about Camtasia and doing some live tutorial examples. A thumbnail and link will be available about one hour before the live stream begins. So be sure you subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to be notified when the link is available. You'll be able to post any questions you have in the live chat up to an hour before I go live. So that's Thursday, April 21st at 12 p.m. Eastern time. I hope to see you then. So let me show you exactly how to animate an object in a circular motion. The first thing we want to do is add a guide to our screen. So let's come up to annotations and let's go here and add a circle. Let's just make this larger. I'm going to press control shift and then drag a corner to make this larger. So that is just gonna be my guide. What I wanna do is, is make an object animate around the perimeter of this circle. So that's the intention. So as this is just a guide, let's reduce the opacity of this so that it's a little bit darker. Uh, and now let's go down to our timeline and let's just make this a little bit longer. I'm gonna make this, oh, let's make it 10 seconds. I'm gonna right click, click on duration, and change this to exactly 10 seconds, okay? And then I'll zoom in a little bit further. Okay, so that's my guide. Now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add the object that I wanna animate. And in this case, I want to add, I'll just add another circle. So let's drag another circle onto the timeline. Uh, let's change the color properties of this. Let's go with a red color. Uh, and let's make this a little bit smaller. Again, I'm holding down Control and Shift, and then I'll reduce the size. Okay, now let's bring this object onto the perimeter of the circle so it's centered. The, you can see the Snap 2 guides there. Okay, now come down to the timeline and let's drag the uh, object on the timeline so that uh, it also lasts for 10 seconds. And now here's the trick. If I were to animate this object, my only choices are a straight line. So if I click on animations and then bring down a custom animation, I can very easily animate it from one point to another. Let's say I wanted to go around the circle to the other side over here. But the thing is, if, if that is my end point and that was my starting point, as you'll see when I press the space bar to play, it just animates in a straight line from one side to the other. So that's not what I wanna do. I want it to go all the way around the edge of the circle. So here's the trick. Let's, uh, let's delete this. So to do this, let's first select this object and I'm gonna make a copy of it. So Control C to copy and then Control V pastes another copy of it. Let's line them up on the timeline and let's drag this second copy and let's drag it all the way over to the other edge like this. Now the next thing to do, and this is where the, the trick comes in, I'm gonna highlight both of these by selecting one, pressing shift, and then selecting the other. That's one way to highlight them both. Another way would be just to drag and highlight them both in the timeline like, like so. And then I wanna group these together. So let's right click here, click group. Now I have two objects that are grouped together. Now the copy of the object is only there to help define the area that I want to rotate. I don't want it to stay there. So now what I wanna do is let's go inside the group, click this plus icon here, and let's highlight the second object and then just press the delete key to get rid of it. Okay, well, why did I add one and then delete it? Well, 
I created a group that included it. And even though I've deleted the object, the group is still defined by the object that was there as well as the original object. Let me show you what I mean. If I close this group here and then highlight the group, you can see that the group is this large. It's defined by this rectangle, okay? Even though one of the objects is now gone. So now what I can do is I can animate this using the rotate property. I'll change the rotation and that will create the animation. I'll show you what I mean. So with this object selected and with animations selected, let's bring a custom animation down to this group. And our starting point is already set. And let's say I want my ending point to be in the exact same place, but I want it to rotate all the way around the circle. The way I do that is I highlight the end and now let's just reposition this to where I want it at the end point. So not there, I wanna go all the way around. So I basically went around 360 degrees and it doesn't look like I've done anything, but if you go up here and click on properties, you can see under rotation and the Z axis is now set to minus 360 degrees. And if you play this now, you'll see that it rotates. Let's just watch just like that. So a couple things. The first thing we're going to want to do is if you noticed the, the rotation sped up and then slowed down. Let me increase the duration along the timeline so you can notice it. It starts slow, speeds up and then slows down. Well, I want that to be a little more uniform. I want it to go around the circle in a, in a linear, not linear, but a uniform speed. So, the way I do that is I'm going to right click this, this animation arrow, click on enable easing. And then I'm going to select, actually, I don't think you can see that. Let me just make this a little bit larger so you can see it. Right click here, click enable easing, and then I'm going to choose linear. Okay. So that would be a linear or constant speed. Let's play this to see if it worked. And now it's rotating around the circle at a constant rate of speed. Okay, so now if I want it to, if I want it to take the full 10 seconds to go around the guide, we'll stretch it out like that and let's just see what it looks like. Perfect. I think that takes a little bit too long, so I'm going to shorten this. Let's just shorten it down a little bit. And incidentally, we don't need the guide anymore. Let's just highlight that and get rid of it. And let's make this group a little shorter and see what that looks like. Pretty cool. Instead of just having the ball go around the circle at a constant rate like that, why don't we add a little bit of sideways motion to it as well? And the way we do that, let's highlight our starting position and then come up to the object and let's move it over to, let's say here, right at the edge of the, of the screen. And then let's highlight the end and let's move it completely off the screen. Now let's see what that looks like. Pretty cool, eh? Another cool thing you can do is if we want to speed up the rotation, instead of going around once, how about we go around multiple times? So let's bring the shape back onto the screen so we can see what we're doing. I have the end of my animation arrow selected. Now let's rotate this maybe two more times. That's once around and twice around. Actually, let's just go one and a half times. Now let's see what that looks like. Press the space bar to play. I think that's pretty cool. And that's all there is to it. If there's anything else you'd like to see me demonstrate in a future video, anything specific you had in mind, just let me know in the comments below and I'll see about making a video on it. Or if you want to see videos on how to use Fiverr and running a successful online business, let me know that too. The direction of this channel will 100% be decided on what you want to see me create. Just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon to turn notifications on and you'll be notified as soon as new content is available or when I'm about to go live. Remember, Thursday, April 21st is my next weekly live stream and I'll be answering questions about video editing in Camtasia 
Fiverr and running an online business. As always, thank you for supporting the channel and I'll see you soon. Thank you.